Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms and uh, got a product that was sent to me. We're gonna uh, try out today, uh, give a look at for the 3010 Kawasaki Mule. Uh, now, I'm not being sponsored by them. They just contacted me, said, hey, uh, uh, would you like some seat covers? Uh, we'd be happy to give you some if you would make a video on them and just give us your honest opinion. And the company is Star Knight MT, and I'm gonna put a link to their website. Also uh, put a link to the seat covers on Amazon as well. But it was perfect timing because we use this mule a lot. I've got some seat covers I'd bought about two years ago because the seat was starting to kind of kind of tear in some spots, as you can see here. You know, I tried some patches, tried a couple things. Uh, but we decided we're going to do the seat covers, and the ones on have just kind of been stretching out a little bit. Uh, they were some cheaper ones I got on either eBay or Amazon a while back. But every time I ride them, I get done, and it looks like this. They're just stretched out. They won't stay on. So I was looking for some new seat covers, and like I said, luckily they uh, they had reached out and asked. I'm also... Uh, Curious to see how they work because they make them for the Yamaha Rhino and the clones, and that's the uh, the BMS Stallion I have. And also, uh, my little dune buggy have the same seats as the Rhino, so you know, see what they look like and uh, might be looking into uh, trying some of those for them. I'm also curious to see sometimes these seat covers will work for uh, Argos, for the, the Mule. And uh, I might try them on uh, my Argo, see if uh, they might. But first, we're going to look at the at the Kawasaki Mule. We're going to see how they work. Now, they came packaged like this. Looked like they have instruction. Actually, there was a, a little better packaging that came in. It's a promo, so it didn't have, you know, the box or any of the, you know, fancy packaging. But I really don't care. I'm just going to slap them on the Mule. And... Uh, you know, what I care about is that they, uh, they're comfortable, they protect the seat, and they hold up. So we're going to get them out of here and uh, get the other ones off and put these on and see how they fit. So I opened it up and was actually really pleasantly surprised. They sent me two sets of it, a camouflaged and a gray one. And instructions with it as well. The wind's kind of taking the bags and the instructions. i got to grab them real quick. But... Uh, it's nice because if I've got a green or an orange side by side, then I like the camouflage. I think that really looks good. On the red, I like the gray a little better, actually. So I've got a gray one, gray or black. So the gray is definitely going to go on here. But also the fact that we got two is nice because there's a program I recently found out about and got in with uh, the government to where... Uh, if you're a veteran or a service-connected disabled veteran, when they stop using trucks and side-by-sides and a lot of that stuff, you can pick them up for like next to nothing. So I'm in that program and we're looking at another one of these Kawasaki Mule 3010. They've got about two or three of them right now. So I'm thinking about picking up another one. But I've got the other seat cover off. I've got these ready to go and we're gonna start putting them on. So this is the bottom seat that you sit on. And I mean, it's really simple to put on. You've got elastic that goes around and then you've got a, a Velcro strap that just tightens it up. And pretty simple, pretty easy to put on. The back part, those are usually a little more difficult, but not too bad. So we're gonna pop this one on first. So we got it on. It, uh, Took a little pulling, it's a really tight, really snug fit, but that's actually a good thing. Looks good on there. I can get on it, move around. That's where the other one was stretching out and coming off. And uh, it's on there tight, it's not coming, it protects the seat. We're gonna put the back one on now. Now the the backrest, they're a little, a little more difficult. It takes a little, little more maneuvering to do, but you want to kind of stretch it out and kind of get the uh, back part down. You've got two Velcro straps that uh, you're going to go down and you're going to bring them around. Once you get that, you just kind of start pulling it down and just kind of fit it to it. There's also a Velcro with some hook and loop 
that you're going to attach at the bottom and i'll show that in just a minute but to start out like i said you just kind of stretch it across and just start uh pulling it down and fitting it to it one thing i am seeing as i'm putting it in is you have some like velcro straps that need to go behind the seat here where there's this little plastic uh this little plastic piece right here and because of the age of this it's kind of warped it's kind of hard to get in so what i was doing and it worked pretty easy is i would get it started and i got a uh it's actually a chainsaw tool but it's basically using the screwdriver to go in and kind of push it out and then the velcro slides right down other than that it's it's really hard to get to but uh, if you do that it slides right in okay so we got it all on a little uh little wrinkly a little loose which uh, at first when i've done seat covers before they've all kind of been like this and they end up uh over just a short time starting to fit really tight and really good i've got the velcro there's straps on both sides i have them attached there's one in the middle that comes around and i could not get it attached that's uh not necessarily that's the seat cover brand that's just the design of the mule itself and i'm going to end up having to get some kind of a rod to kind of push it down but it's all this this kind of back plastic cover on the mule this is just so old that it's it's uh, not not straight it's not flat and i just can't get in there so i think if i get a long enough screwdriver i can push it down and once i do it's got velcro that's going to come and it's going to attach right here but it's on pretty tight i mean it's uh probably if if i didn't put it on it would probably still work without any problem the other uh the other part of it, the bottom one, like I said, you got your Velcro one in the middle right here, and you've got elastic. Put it down. It was pretty wrinkly at first. There's still a little, a few wrinkles here and there, but it started to actually uh, work itself out already. It's been on a couple of hours uh, so far, and uh, looks good on there. I mean, definitely looks better than the original and uh, looks better than the seat cover that I had that was a couple years old and it was just starting to get stretched out. So we're gonna try it out. We're gonna take it for a ride. You know, I make videos uh, with this mule quite a bit. And so you're gonna be seeing this on. I'll probably go about a week or so and I might try swapping out for the camouflage one, just kind of see what it looks like. Uh, like I said, with the red, I think the black or the gray looks better but we are looking at a green one of these and so with the green one that's gonna definitely uh definitely call for some camouflage on it so i'm kind of kind of happy they sent us two and i'm sure you'll see uh videos on that and of this with us driving around and i like the product price isn't bad on it and like i said i they make them for the yamaha rhino which, you know, the BMS side-by-side uh, -side that we have is just a Rhino copy, pretty much. There's a few differences, but the seats are identical. So, uh, you know, hopefully you might be seeing some of those on, on the BMS as well soon, too. And you'll see, uh, see videos of me putting them on. And they've got a lot, of, a lot of other really cool, really neat accessories for side-by-sides on their website. So I'll put a link to it check it out and see again they're not paying me to do this but i like you know adding stuff i'm always building stuff onto them they've got some some neat stuff that i'm probably going to be ordering as well so that's the seat covers again the company is star Knight mt and i know i've seen uh I've seen their product, I believe, on Amazon when I looked them up at first, and I looked at their their website as well. And, and yeah, some neat stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's Matt from McGee Farms. If, you know, this helped you install some seat covers, uh, maybe make a decision on what brand to buy. If you like the videos, please consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, leaving us a comment. It's all appreciated. It helps the channel grow. Until next time, have a great day.